cataractcoach.com. The pinhole pupiloplasty technique, which is very helpful in improving vision in certain challenging cases, especially cases like this one, patient with pellucid marginal degeneration, tucked in lamellar keratoplasty done years back, vision's count fingers at one foot. See the red box there? Huge amount of higher order aberrations in that cornea. So a very irregular cornea. Patient's already pseudophagic. There's the pinhole device. That's used preoperatively to see which is the preferred pinhole for the patient. The patient can look through it in the clinic and decide what's the correct size, such as one and a half or two millimeters, etc. So this is the single pass four throw pupiloplasty technique by Dr. Agarwal. As you see, passing that tenoproline through, you're going to close the pupil entirely and then use the vitrector to create a central small pupil. So the fourth row pupilastic means you bring this loop outside the eye, pass the suture in four times, one, two, three, four, and then that can be cinched down and the knot will be brought into the eye and it'll hold very securely. So there it is, bringing the iris down and you can suture it right like that, beautiful. And in this technique, Dr. Agarwal is just doing the one throw of four loops, not four, one, one, but just four. So there it is, and now passing another one. You'd have to close up all these defects. It's going to take a little bit of time here. But, of course, just taking your time and being meticulous is all you need to do. So, again, passing that suture through. This extra light pipe makes it really a lot easier to see things. That's a really nice technique. So now you have a closed-up iris, sutured shut, and now you can see where is the Purkinje light reflex. You can use the vitrectomy probe to make that central pin hold the exact size that you want. And in this case, about one and a half millimeters. And you can see you can get that centered up using the Purkinje light reflexes. And so nice and easy on this. Use a very low cut rate. Take your time with this. And then you can make a good pupil opening. There's half of it. Here's the other half. And that's going to do it. That looks beautiful. And no other stray lights getting inside the eye because of that small pupil effect. Notice that Purkinje P1 image right in the center of the pupil. The patient's going to be very happy with this. Now, you still can examine the retina, and there are ways to do that with these wide field imaging devices that we now have. But of course, this is going to limit the examination of the retinal periphery to a degree, but it improves the patient's vision dramatically. You can see that beautifully centered small pupil for this patient. And then the results for this patient were absolutely spectacular. I'm going to show you that in just a moment here. But this is the fourth row pupiloplasty technique and a pinhole pupiloplasty. So pre-op count because at one foot, we saw the whole technique there. And post-op, 20 out of 30 vision, 6'9 vision without glasses. Wow, that's amazing.